Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Rat King vs. Vernon from the cartoon line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures from NECA Toys. Now these are a Target exclusive. I was lucky enough to get mine from the app or the website. They went up and then went out of stock very, very quickly. So I was lucky. But I believe these are starting to show up in stores as well. So if you are looking for these, definitely check your local Target because they should be starting to show up on shelves. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. I think it looks pretty great. Uh, Rat King looks great. You have Vernon. Vernon comes with interchangeable rat parts from the episode where, uh, you know, the Rat King mutated him into a large rat so he would follow him. So really cool detail there. A lot of great accessories. Really excited for this two-pack. Um, you know, we have some nice animation here on the front of the box. Not too much else going on with the packaging on the top and sides. Well, here we go. We got Vernon over here holding his camera we got the rat king over here talking to his rats and then on the back we have just the two figures kind of posed together almost like they're allies but they're definitely not allies <laughs> and then over here you can see uh, some of the other two packs that are available so i believe i've reviewed all of the rest of these i did actually get a hold of a xerix and zork because they kind of did a reissue or another wave of them uh, so i do have that one and the review will be coming somewhat soon uh, that's in the pipeline of possible reviews coming soon. So, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and check this one out just because it's you know the newest one, and I'm very excited about how the interchangeable rat parts are going to work out for Vernon. Uh, also, you may have heard that a lot of people are having trouble with Rat King's kind of waistline or underoos, whatever you want to call it, uh, being uh, they're they're a pink piece of plastic and then painted, and when people are moving the joints. The paint is chipping, so fingers crossed. We'll see how that's going to work out, but I'm hoping I don't have too much trouble with it. I'm going to try to be overly ginger when moving the hip uh, joints, so we'll see how that all goes. But I'm going to get everything out of the box here, and then we're going to take a closer look. These are two really awesome figures, I have to say. They've done an amazing job, and this is the first time I've picked uh, figures out of a box from NECA and not felt like every one of the joints was painted shut i really feel like the majority of these joints move really nice um i'm not one to heat things with a hair dryer or that kind of stuff i just kind of like gingerly work them until they eventually move or you hear the paint snap and then things normally move without a problem but i didn't really have anything like that this time so i do have a couple of his accessories decked out on here he's got these little rats which i think are really neat and the way they do it is they have the tails kind of loop around so that they can kind of clip on to various spots so we have one here on the shoulder one here on his wrist he does come with a third one that just kind of like would sit in his hand because this has the tail out to the side so real quick i'll show off these rats and then we'll move back on to the figure but i just think they did such a nice job with his accessories and you know the rats are as much of a part of the rat king as the rest of them so i want to just take a look at them real quick but they did a really nice job i mean they're fairly simplistic but they're molded very nicely they're painted very nicely and having the tails kind of act as clips so that they can perch on various parts of his body, I think, is a really neat idea. Here is the open-tailed one that would normally just sit in his hand. And then here is the other one that has kind of a wider tail, like a wider loop with his tail, so that he can sit on his shoulder. And again, very simply done, but very nicely painted. Really, really happy with those. I think they look great. Uh, you can also see he's got the... Uh, aluminum can or soda can uh, grenade bandolier here and they did such a good job with these I mean they're so simple but if you look at the detail you have the little tab on top really nicely done they're really nicely painted I mean they're all just done in one single color but they took the time to paint the top and the bottom with the uh, you know silver or gray paint there looks really sharp and they fit very simply in here because it's kind of like a little bit softer rubber for the bandolier so they just pop in there very easily and they look great. And then you can just kind of like gently take this off over his head because it is kind of a softer plastic. So very simple to take that on and off. Really, really like this accessory. I think that's really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead. Let's talk about the figure. Look at that head sculpt. I mean, really nicely done. Really, really nicely done. I like kind of like the panel lining around the hair. It really makes everything pop. He's got the two bandanas just like on the show. Head can move very nicely on the ball joint. It can rock side to side. It can go uh, swivel side to side, up and down. A lot of nice movement there. All of the kind of stitching work because his outfit is like a weird, you know, P 
pieced together thing that he, I guess, found in the sewers or wherever he's uh, currently living these days. But he's got a nice rotation here in the shoulder. We have the hinge. You can see the hinge moves really nice. Bicep swivel there. Double jointed elbows. And they're a little tight, but they're not too bad. They move fairly well. He's got a swivel in the wrist as well as a hinge. He's got that nice kind of diaphragm movement there, as you can see. Bit of an ab crunch with that as well. I feel like that's two separate joints. But they work really well. And of course you can see all the detailing there. It even has his abs uh, panel lined so that you can see them. Uh, okay, so then here's where we come into the problem area. Now, I've been kind of, you know, very careful with mine. And I haven't had too much problem, knock on wood. You can see I have a little bit of brown here on the leg, but that's not a big deal because I can kind of hide it. Uh, but there is kind of movement here, and I just want to be very careful. You know, you it's a ball joint, so you can kind of move it around. You have a swivel there, and you can kind of move it all around. But you just want to be careful because this is right along here is where people are saying they're getting stress lines from the paint. Now, knock on wood, I've been kind of fortunate, but again, I've been being very careful. So I wouldn't really extend you know, the legs don't make them try to do the splits or anything like that. Some people have said just kind of barely moving it around has caused the problem. I don't know. I've, I've gotten lucky, but again, it's because I've been being super careful with it. So uh, there's a nice bit of motion there in the hips. You know, you have those little ball joints there, but be careful with the paint cracking. You have double jointed knees. And these are a little tight, but they will move pretty well, as you can see. And then I thought he had a boot cuff swivel, but I don't think he does. But he does have a hinge and a rocker in the ankle. And then he's got that kind of two-toned color scheme for the animation characters that they always do. And it works well. I just, I'm really impressed. I think he looks great. I'm really, really happy with what they've given us here. As long as you don't have any problem with the underoos and the paint. He should be good. He looks fantastic. Really uh, perfectly recreated from the show. Looks like he just jumped right out of the cartoon. I love all the little rats and everything. He does have a couple other accessories. He has the flute that he plays to control the rats, which is a nice little inclusion. And then he comes with a canister of mutagen. And the canister of mutagen actually opens up, and you can see the mutagen inside. Which I think is pretty cool. I have to go back and look now because I've definitely gotten canisters of mutagen in the past. And I don't know if any of those other ones were capable of opening or not. I kind of don't think they were. I think this is the first one that's opened up. But still very, very cool. I like that a lot. So he comes with a ton of accessories. He looks great. Great articulation. Really, really happy with the Rat King. Moving on to Vernon. Vernon looks pretty cool. I love the camera. You can see he has it in his hand up to his eye right now. I'm going to take it out of his hand just so we can get a closer look at it. The hand is a little tight. You might have to kind of just like open it up a little bit to get the camera in there. But once you do, it looks very, very good. So we're going to just let him stand for a second so we can take a closer look at this camera here. It's really got a lot of nice detailing here. You have the screen on the back, you have the eyepiece, and you can they even have like the gleam from the surface of the screen there. You even have the same thing here in the front of the lens. I think that looks really great. This piece can actually rotate around. So if you need to set it down somewhere, you can kind of move that around. The Channel 6 logo looks great. Has the uh, handle on the top for carrying it around. Very, very cool. I really think they did such a great job with this. I would say that's his major accessory, uh, but he does have some alternate hands and stuff. So does Racking. We'll get to all that in a minute. I want to just show off the two figures on their own first, and then we'll get to alternate hands and stuff. Uh, but yeah, Vernon, surprisingly... I mean, I shouldn't say surprisingly, because I, I didn't think they would do a bad figure, but I feel like he's probably one of the best that they've done. <laughs> And that's kind of the surprising part, because he looks fantastic, he moves great, all of his joints are very fluid. Uh, the, the head sculpt is phenomenal. I mean, they crushed it. That is Vernon right off the 
cartoon screen. I mean, that is just so well done. Now, he's got a ball joint at the base of the neck. And that's for something we're going to get to a little bit later on. But then he's also got, I believe it's a ball joint at the base of the skull as well. He's got nice hinges here in the shoulders as well as a rotation. Now, they're a little tight, but I think it's just because his shirt is kind of made of a softer rubber plastic. And so that kind of just not gets in the way, but just you kind of have to move this shoulder piece around in that in that softer plastic. So it kind of makes funny noises and whatnot. But he's got double jointed elbows so he can go ahead and, and hold that camera the way he needs to. He's got a forearm swivel where it meets the shirt. And then he's got the hinge and rotation in the wrists as well. He does have some movement here in the torso. As you can see there, kind of at the waist, he has a ball joint in the hip as well. He's got double jointed knees. Get the other one to bend. There we go. And then he's got a uh, hinge rotation. And I just, I think they did such a good job. I mean, the way the jeans are done, the, the shoes, all the like panel lining. And I say panel lining for back, for lack of a better term, but... You know, they just have to outline everything to really accentuate the animation style. And I think that's really, really cool. So yeah, really, really great job with Vernon. Even his little wristwatch looks really sharp. All of the kind of details and, and fold lines and everything in his jeans just to make him look good. They did a really great job. He really, really, really looks good. Uh, but they're not done yet. We have a couple uh, other things. We'll do the alternate hands and then we'll show the other really big feature for Vernon here. So Rat King does have some alternate hands. There's nothing too much to write home about this, but he's got kind of a pointing hand. And then he's got some tighter grasping hands in case you wanted to hold any accessories. But they all have the hinge. And you just, you know, unplug one, plug the other one in. And it's kind of funny because when you see them on their own, they almost look like they're ape hands or something because they have this what looks like brown fur, but that's just because of his costume. <laughs> but it should make it easy. If you throw all your extra pieces in a bin, it should make it very simple to figure out who uh, hands what hands belong to the Rat King. Shouldn't be too difficult there. But I like the pointing hand. I think that's pretty cool. Like he's, you know, gesturing all of his rats to attack or something like that. So definitely have some nice extra hands there. But let's put him a little bit off to the side so we can check out these extra Vernon features because this is actually really cool. So what you do, you go ahead and just grasp onto the whole arm, the forearm piece, and you just pop that off. And you can see the piece here underneath. And then we go ahead and we attach this rat arm. And you just pop this on. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest. There we go. Is that on now? There we go. So you got a rat arm. And that has the same articulation. Moves there. You have a hinge and rotation in the wrist. And it's really nicely detailed. I mean, they did a great job here. You can see he's even got the nails for the rat hands. And the texture all looks really, really good. It's almost like he's a were-rat. Go ahead and pop that one off. See if this one goes on a little bit easier. Oops, or not. Okay. We'll be a little careful with the joints there. Seems like the rat hands are a little bit more of a snug fit. Decent amount of force to get these to go on. Surprisingly. I'm hoping with time these will get a little bit easier, but there we go. And then we take the entire neck off. There we go, <laughs> as you can see. And this is, I gotta say, this kind of haunts my dreams. It's like a Vernon mushroom or something like that. It really, really <laughs> looks awkward. But then you have this uh, second rat head, which should pop on here. Let me... Uh, it's a little difficult to do in front of the camera, but it does pop on. Come on now. There we go. And there you go. We have mutated Rat Vernon. 
he looks awesome. I can't get over how good this looks. Let's get a little bit closer here. This is just really cool. I mean, first of all, the detail and everything looks amazing. The rat mouth does open, which is so, so good. <laughs> I'm really loving this. I'm loving this, uh, you know, basically two figures in one by just swapping out the head and the hands. Because you can have regular Vernon or mutated rat Vernon. It's perfect. I know they just announced the second wave of Loot Crate figures. And one of them is going to be... And now I can't remember his name. But one of the mutants... Or one of the mutants. One of the gang members... God, I really can't remember his name. But he, he transforms into a bat. And it's going to be the same principle where you switch out the head and the arms. And you can have his human form or his bat form. I know I know his name and I'm just completely blanking on it. So... I'm sure I'll come up with it later. I also just kind of noticed it looks like he has like a like a handgun pouch, which I've never noticed before and seems a little awkward for Vernon, but oh well, that's neither here nor there. He looks great. This is amazing. I absolutely love this. I love how uh, quickly you can change these out. Now again, it were a little difficult to get them attached, but I'm thinking with time that's going to be a little bit easier as we go. Surprisingly, the head was easier than the arms, but the finished product is just absolutely fantastic. So Vernon does have some alternate hands. He also has a pointing hand, and then he's got some open hands, I'm assuming, maybe so that he can kind of put his hands up like he's surrendering. <laughs> that sounds like Vernon, doesn't it? Uh, but in any case, this is a really great set. I really love all the accessories here. Rat King looks phenomenal. The little rats that he comes with are great. The uh, little whistle or, or flute or whatever you want to call that to control the rats. The mutagen canister. The bandolier with the soda can grenades. Uh, all of that's phenomenal. He has great articulation. Like I said, I know some people have had problems with the kind of over underwear. You know, being a, a pink piece of plastic painted green and that's been chipping for some people. Luckily, knock on wood, I haven't had the problem yet. But I also haven't moved it around too much and I don't think I'm going to. So... It's kind of a bummer that you can't, you know, move the toy around as much as you might want to, but I think in the long run I just want to play it safe and not tempt the uh, paint chipping. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as it is, but he really does look fantastic, really really does. And Vernon, again, kind of a sleeper hit. Never really expected to be this excited about Vernon. I mean, yeah, he's a character on the show and he's kind of a sniveling character and, you know, you love to hate him and and you know, but he's a great figure. They did such a good job. I mean, the likeness is amazing. Uh, all of the kind of like, you know, thick black lines uh, for that cartoon effect to kind of, you know, flesh out the detail and all that looks amazing. The head sculpt is perfect. I love the pieces to interchange him out and become a rat mutant or a were rat, whatever you want to call him. Uh, the Channel 6 news cam looks great. Uh, both characters have extra hands. I mean, the amount of accessories are just super top notch. I can't get over it. It's it's honestly becoming one of my favorite sets so far and I know that's saying something but they just really crushed it. They really knocked it out of the park with this one and I absolutely love it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching.